Welcome to Electron Online. Some viewers commented to me that I did not have any videos explaining the fundamentals of torque. So I thought that would be a good idea to put a few videos together to do exactly that. So here's our first one that explains what is torque. Well, torque is a force applied to an object at a point away from the point of rotation and that will then cause the torque. In other words, if you have an object like this, like a board, a piece of wood, that is maybe nailed down to the wall so that the, the piece of wood can rotate in any direction, and you apply a force away from the point of rotation, there's a point of rotation, so instead of, instead of pushing right here, you're going to push at some other location, some distance D away from where it can rotate. Well, that means that that will indeed cause a torque. The torque, we use the Greek letter tau, is then simply the product of the force times the distance. The greater the distance, the greater the torque. The greater the force, the greater the torque. So the torque is simply a product of the force and the distance. The greater that torque, the greater the tendency for the object then to rotate. You can also have a force applied to a rotating disc, for example. It turns out that a net torque, so if you add up all the torques, that are applied on an object, and if you end up with a net torque, that net torque applied to an object will cause the, an angular acceleration. In other words, it will cause the object to rotate faster and faster and faster. It's kind of analogous to the equation F equals ma. If we apply a force to an object that has mass m, it will cause an acceleration. The acceleration is simply the ratio of the force divided by the, the mass of the object. Well, it turns out that a torque is kind of similar to F equals ma. It's essentially the rotational equivalent of F equals ma. The torque stands for the force, the moment of inertia stands for the mass, and the angular acceleration stands for the linear acceleration. If you solve this equation for the angular acceleration, you can see that the magnitude of the acceleration is simply equal to the torque applied divided by the moment of inertia of the rotating object just like the linear acceleration is equal to the ratio of the force divided by the mass of the object. So torque is simply caused by a force acting on an object as long as the force does not act right at the point of rotation. If it acts at some different point allowing the object then to rotate or then causing the object to rotate if it is indeed a net torque. So that's the basic definition of a torque. Now we can see how we can calculate the torque in various situations. We have various techniques. Then we can also show you how to apply the torque to objects where we have angular acceleration associated with it. And that's how it's done. Welcome to Electron Online. Some viewers, some, wow. Welcome to Electron Some fundamental line. prospects. Prospects, oh man. Okay, again. Yeah.